I think it's really good to get the hard lessons from journalists and, and PR early on because it's about honing your message and, and what you're trying to achieve before you go out to talk to people like us. If you just sort of walk into a conversation, bamble, bumble your way through, you're going to have so many wasted opportunities because you're not thinking about what you should be saying or how you should be saying it and, and who you should be approaching and talking to. There are lots of journalists around. Some are going to be perfect to tell your message to. Some are going to be a complete waste of time. And I think if you can understand that very early on, then you've just saved yourself a lot of legwork finding out those examples for yourself. I think hopefully for the people here to achieve over the next 10 months would be to start getting some press coverage, uh, which would be brilliant. Start actually finding a, a niche and finding a way of telling their story and using whether that's PR, using press, using you know, their own blog, Instagram, all these different things to, to get their message across and tell their story rather than just hoping that something will come along one day and fall in their lap. Because unfortunately, as I was just trying to explain to some of them, you know, it is hard work. You do have to put the effort in. You can't just expect a journalist like myself to just turn up and go, yeah, brilliant, we want to write about you. Uh, I, I think it's good because I, I think sometimes journalists, particularly at mainstream organisations, can seem so out of reach in the sense it's like this kind of mystery about what they do, how they work, um, where they get their stories from. Um, and I think giving startups an idea that the process is actually quite imprecise. It's sometimes luck of the draw, sometimes just you know, hard graft, try your luck, uh, send an email um, whenever you can. Um, I think removing some of that layer of it being this fantastically sophisticated system of mainstream media um, is helpful. Um, for us, it's a great way to meet a few startups. I mean, I've just been talking to a couple, um, a few startups after the session and there's a couple of things that I'm absolutely going to follow up on and do a couple of stories about because they're just interesting ideas. My, probably my one piece of advice um, would be uh, be good to people and be self-aware. It's a very small scene. It's much smaller than you think. Um, and, you know, if you focus on being good to people, being aware of who you're talking to, being aware of what they care about, not what you care about, and, yeah, adding that value before you try and extract it, you go a long way. And people like Mark aren't going to, you know, or Dave, they're not going to write about you in year one, but they might do something that they'll be familiar with you in year one, and you'll probably add maybe a couple of comments to some of their stories. As it comes to year two and the product starts taking off, that's when suddenly they remember that this was that really nice guy or girl from Wyra who came up to the panel, and, you know, previously they had this career and they've completely shifted into this. And, you know, all these, this backstory, Mark called it the, the, at the New York Times, they called it the TikTok, but the backstory um, becomes fundamentally important at the time when it's right to tell that story, you, you know. And so I think just remembering that and, just, and, and also just kind of looking around at, like, how other people are doing it really badly, like listening to people like Dave, Mark and Stuart talk about this is what we hate and this is what we get all the time. And they hate it because that's what everyone's, the vast majority of people are doing it the wrong way. So... Um, so I think that in particular would be yeah, my, my one bit of advice. So I think you know, there's massive value in the acceleration being able to bring people to the startups that they can't get to themselves. And I think that's what you know, a place like Wire are here to do, really.